Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe even good evening, depending on where you are. My name is Timothy Jones. I am IT Help Desk staff and one of the IT trainers here on campus at SUNY Buffalo State College in Buffalo, New York. And this morning, we're going to cover a brief student account orientation overview, which will help with first time setup and getting acquainted with the various student accounts. So the timeline for when you're given your accounts or when you're given access to these accounts is basically broken up into two areas. There's pre-acceptance, and then once you're accepted as a student. In that pre-acceptance window, you're basically just interacting with the application portal. And this is done with your own personal email address, that's the username login for that, and you personally set a password, and there's a password reset link right on that login page. However, as a student, you're given three different accounts. Those are your banner, your student Gmail, and your network account. Each of these has their own set of credentials to log in, and you're given access to them at different steps in your, process, in your application process. Banner is given shortly after applying. After that, you'll get access to Gmail and your network account after your tuition deposit is either waived or paid as an undergrad, or after the grad school finalizing a student pro, student's profile once they are accepted. So each of these accounts obviously serves a different purpose. So let's run over those real quickly. So Banner is used kind of behind the scenes for some of the really important stuff. You use Banner to do things like register for classes, pay your bills, check financial aid options, and to reset your other passwords. The student Gmail, as you might guess, is used for official communications. And something I'll point out here is that this Gmail account is available indefinitely. Students don't lose access to it after they graduate or after they're no longer a student. So it'll always be available after the fact if they need to keep using it. There's also your network account, and this is a general login. It's used for everything on campus basically that isn't Banner or student Gmail. So it's used for things like CAPS, Blackboard, and DegreeWorks. So where can I find all my links to the various student login pages? Because when you're starting off, you're not really familiar with the landscape and you don't know what's there more or less. And thankfully we've collected all these in one place right on the main Buff State website. So if you go to buffalostate.edu on your browser, you'll notice in the upper right hand corner, there is a quick link. If you click on that, the first link on that list is something called my Buff State. And this is used by students as well as faculty and staff and like i said before it's a collection of the important links and pieces of information that you'll be using throughout your studies just to give you the rough lay of the land here on the left hand column is a toolbox which has all your main student links there's also a tech info and help column on the right hand side and the center column has a set of important phone numbers Below that, you'll find an area that has links to various services kind of divided by category, and you can expand and collapse each of those to kind of help narrow down what you're looking for. To show you what this looks like in practice, let's pull up the buffalostate.edu website. Here we are. And if you notice in the upper right hand corner, we have our quick link. So I'm going to left click this once, and that will pull up our sidebar. And the first option on that list is the My Buff State page. So we're just going to click through that. And we'll be choosing students and clicking that we'll just want to scroll down briefly and we'll see those three columns we were talking about before we have our toolbox on the left hand side with all your major links and sign-ins the center column has our important phone numbers which covers things for reporting an on-campus emergency but also things like finding school closing information and then on the rightmost column we have our account access and tech help which you can use to link to things like wireless access as well as built quick pay for things like billing down below we have some of our categories by location and you can expand any of these resource groups so we'll just go to technology expand that and you'll see support and services links for some of the it help desk services now as banner is the first account you get access to let's walk through how that first time access looks so you can go to banner.buffalostate.edu, or you can just follow the My Buff State link that we outlined on the previous slide. And once you're there, Banner sign-in page uses your full Banner ID number, which starts with B00. It's provided to you by the school. It's a permanent number that never changes. You, you don't update it like you might a username. And you're entering that in the user ID field. The default pin will be your date of birth as a six digit number that's in month, month, day, day, year, year format. 
We specify that because we do have a lot of international students on campus and sometimes based on region or country, you will have a slightly different calendar format. So we'll just reiterate it specifically month, day, year. So to see what that looks like in practice, we have an example here. So if you were born on February 2nd of 2002, your default pin would be 020202. And when the system accepts a default pin, it will give the user a message saying that that pin has expired. And that's good. We do want that to happen. And right on that same page will be two blanks to create a replacement custom pin to use moving forward. And what are my network and Gmail passwords? How do I get access to those? So specifically, Banner ends up being your master key for your various accounts. The personal information section of Banner has links to manage your passwords, and that includes how to get your username and login information the first time. So specifically from Banner, you can go to the personal information tab, or you can click the link on the list. And in that page, you'll see links to set up or reset student network password, as well as set up or reset student Gmail password. And specifically the way this works, these pages in Banner, you can always view your network username and your Gmail address, which is what you use to log into those pages. And whether or not you've set a password in the past, you can always come to these links to reset those passwords if you forget them, just the same as you are using them the first time to access them initially. Now, this personal information page, I have it pulled up on screen here. We show it here in part because staff and faculty have a slightly different interface on their end. So this will be helpful for kind of all of the above. And you'll notice those first three links. The first one lets you change your banner pin. And then the next two are to set up or reset your student network password and to set up or reset your student Gmail password. As always, feel free to contact the IT Help Desk at SUNY Buffalo State College. We have a couple different ways to get in touch. The first is by email at ithelpdesk at buffalostate.edu. The next is by phone at area code 716-878-HELP. That's 878-4357. And you can also submit tickets on our IT portal. You can access this on any web browser at itportal.buffalostate.edu. And that's an example of one of the many logins that will use your network account credentials.